Okay, it's time for another custom. I got a big bag of stuff here. Um, let's take a look and see what we've got inside. Dumping it out here. Um, we have an S-type body. All these things I got from ClassicTVToys.com. Um, anybody can go and buy this crap over there at ClassicTVToys.com. This is their, um, you know, kind of their main deal. The fucking S-type body. This is a ball-jointed body that's very poseable. Um, does not have the elastic bands on the inside like the, the Mego figures or the, uh, the typical figures, toy company figures. It is super poseable, um, not unlike a Marvel Legends um, or modern action figure. Uh, with the exception of that, it is a 1-9 or 8-inch style figure um, in the Mego scale. So there it is, we're gonna start with the body, and today we're gonna be making Deathstroke, if you haven't already fucking found out from looking at the, uh, the goddamn thing on the, uh, you know, the, the thumbnail. Um, looks like I, this piece already broke. Um, I may have to do a little gluing. Um, well, shit. Thanks, fucking figures. Goddamn toy company. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, don't worry about it. Um, we've got some uh, some little boots right on, some red boots and um, some some gloves. And take a look here. And I know his his colors on Deathstroke, the classic uh, Deathstroke. This is a little uh, reddish orange. Um, the, this is kind of the best I could do um, on ClassicTVToys.com. They don't really have an orange option, so he's going to be uh, closer to red. Um, a little closer to red on, on most of his accessories here. We also have the black bodysuit, which I will open up right now. There we go. And um, also a little, little pair of trunks to go over that bodysuit. And we'll see, I've had some problems with these recently. It seems like they're made for fucking smaller figures. Um, and it's a big pain in the ass to get them on just over the bodies. Um, as it was now I'm gonna have to get it over the body on the fucking bodysuit now We're gonna figure out how that how that goes when we go to put it together, and I also have um, Some necks some neck posts uh, for two heads because I got a two-headed uh, Figure here, and I've already uh, done a little customization. I got this right here, which is the uh, a, a Head from classic TV is a bearded man for the S-type body and I gave him a little little eye patch there and it looks it looks just like a slave so pretty cool and then um, I customized this was a, a black head with white eyes that I customized to look like uh, the Deathstroke um, classic Deathstroke uh, mask and I even got a little uh, tie on the back so we're gonna see how this all goes together um, let, me, let me get this more organized and we'll start putting stuff together. All right, so what I did to, to start is I glued our uh, our heads together with the necks um, so that they can dry. And I used some uh, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Super Glue, brush and nozzle, makes it a lot easier to do. And that was kind of the point. You know, when people are making uh, custom figures, uh, and you, if you're getting into it, you look online, you see all these people making these really awesome custom figures, and it can be a little daunting, it can be kind of intimidating, you know, for somebody that doesn't have any artistic experience or anything like that, or any uh, experience in customizing action figures, you may be like, oh shit, I know how to buy them, you know what I mean? But you might not have any experience in actually making the figures yourself, or, or making customizations to figures. And what I wanted to do with this to show you how easy it could be um, with you know buying these things from the internet, from places like ClassicTVToys.com um, and various other sites. Go on eBay, you can find custom heads and stuff like that for these Mego figures, and you're gonna see some of those uh, coming up in the future. Um, but what I want to do is to show you how simple it can be. You can make some really cool looking stuff um, without having to know a whole lot about painting and, and sculpting and, and various other things that, that might be a little intimidating for the, for the beginner uh, to coming in uh, on day one. Now, um, 
So, and that's why, you know, I, I let you know that I'm just using some Gorilla Glue. I made a little repair to this, uh, this bandolier thing, um, with some, uh, with some electrical tape, with some duct tape that I had laying around. Does it look great? No, it doesn't look fucking great at all, but you know what? Um, it was so thin, it was impossible to glue back together and get it to work properly, um, so this was my, my option. I could throw it away, um, or I could do this. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that looks when we get it on the figure. Being as that he's like black, mostly, it should look okay. So let's go ahead and take a look and, and, and start putting on the, the costume. Uh, this one doesn't have a Velcro on the back. It has a little snap. Um, maybe this will be a little easier to get on. Um, so let's give it a shot. As I was pulling up the uh, the back here on the body on the bodysuit, I realized, like a dipshit, that I hadn't put the goddamn head on yet. Um, so all this work has kind of been for naught because I have to open up the body to get the head on because you can't just jam the head into place. Um, unfortunately, you, you can't. Um, and I'm noticing now that even when I do get this thing on, he's going to be kind of kind of left out in the lurch. I do have a little bit of a fix for that, but we'll, we'll find out, we'll see that in a minute. Um, let me pull this down a little bit and open the body up. All right, luckily I've got my uh, little screwdriver here and we can just open the body right up. All right, I thought I was gonna be able to get it open with just taking the top screws out. Um, but these screws actually keep it pretty fucking secure. So I am going to have to take out all four screws. You're going to want to be careful though, um, because I noticed in another video, um, actually John Wilde was opening up one of these things and uh, he stripped the screws on one of them. And once you do that, this might as well be a fucking Mego body. And um, it's going to be a lot harder to, to melt it because it's made of a thicker plastic. So let's carefully open this up. All right, and so I've got it open now and um, it doesn't open up all the way and I'm not even trying to open it up all the way. I wanna get it open just enough to squeeze that head in there and then I can close it back up. I don't really need to fuck with it anymore um, and then I'll close it back up and we'll get the screws back in and we'll be good to go. I want to mention as well that I'm also, I'm screwing these in fairly loosely, like a medium amount. Um, don't fucking, if, especially if you want to be able to swap out the heads, like the, I've made this one figure. Um, I made it so that we can swap out the heads when we want to and give them the, uh, the you know, the mask off look if I feel like it. Um, so, so yeah, um, I might, you know, just go get another damn body and make two of these things. Uh, I am going to have to pick up another one of these bandoliers, and it really wasn't the what I was going for in the first place. It was kind of a, uh, a placeholder anyway, so I'm going to be looking online for other bandoliers for um, these size figures, maybe even something for a 12-inch figure um, to go with him, and... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll add things here and go, here and there. It'll be a uh, work in progress. It's not like I'm putting it up for sale or anything like that. So, here we go. We've got our screws in the back. And um, I'll put this shirt back on and we'll be ready to rock. All right, so we've got the bodysuit on. He looks pretty fucking cool. And um, it's about time that we've got some more stuff on him here. I'm going to try to get these, uh, these trunks onto him. Um, these are a huge pain in the ass to get on under, you know, what no clothes circumstances on, on smaller figures. And because these S-types are a little bit bigger, um, a lot of the clothes um, that you can find for them are going to be very, very tight. And so let's get these things uh, pulled up. It is britches pulled up. And... Uh, me a moment here to do that. So these are kind of a tight fit, but I got them all the way up and um, everything is looking 
So far, so good. And uh, let's go ahead and get his, uh, his boots on. And I know from experience that these are uh, kind of, you know, left and right. They're both the same thing. They're, they're both the same direction and the boots looking good. Um, and right there, he might just be all right. But I've got gloves too. So let's get his gloves on. These are kind of rubbery. Um, I've never used gloves like these before on a Mego figure. Um, they've got kind of that, that flared out sort of piratey look that he had in the comics when he made his first appearance. Um, I like these, these are all right. They're not bad for now. I might find something better. I might find an alternative. Um, we might even make some modifications to these later on as we go. But for right now, um, just putting them together, he's not bad. Um, he's got his gloves, he's got his boots. Um, I just need to get him some weapons, you know? Um, and you know, if these fucking things will goddamn stay on! Okay, so all together, not so fucking shabby. Um, for a custom that started as a germ of an idea, and uh, you know, a little bit of custom painting, but nothing too too hard. All I did was paint the red on his head there. Um, I could go back and paint his neck uh, to be black um, to, to kind of match up the rest of the body, but for now. Um, just to get him some weapons accessories and he'll be fucking good to go. Um, he looks pretty good and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. And there he is. It's fucking Deathstroke.